Continuing on, on section 8.3, where we left off, we now look at a new formula. to calculate future value. And what we mean by future value which is a capital A and is air amount owed at the loans at the loans, uh, well, I should say terminal, well, I'll say loans due date. So let's look at what we have. In this one, we have A equals P parenthesis one plus RT. Well, we got this one from knowing that our future value is equal to the principal plus PRT, which is interest own, owed. So that's how that bit got to this formula by distributive property. But all you need to know is the formula, not know it, but at least write it down. So let's continue on with our understanding of what we're working with. Uh, so we understand A represents future value. As um, Uh, interest owed plus the um, B, amount borrowed. So the future value is the outcome of interest plus whatever the amount was you borrowed. Therefore, the P is a present value. In our case, loan amount. And R is the interest rate converted to a decimal T represents time measured by years or parts of years. And we've had this over and over above. Right, so let's do some examples. Yeah. So uh, here we start off 
uh, rather easy. We have um, P equals 7,000, R equals 7, T equals 5 years. And they want to find the loan's future value. So we understand we're going to use the formula A plus P1 plus RT, where this is the interest uh, owed and uh, the principal plus the principal. All right, so we're going to put in what we know. the decimal zero 07 for the 7% times uh, the five years. All right, we're gonna introduce uh, two new keys. Our above. Uh, the number, the number panel. Uh, our parentheses. Uh, above the eight is the open parentheses and above the nine is the close parenthesis. So we want to utilize a calculator. The more apt we are at it, uh, the better we'll become uh, on future considerations. So we have this problem. So on our calculator, our entry is going to be the 7,000 open parenthesis above the eight, one, the plus sign, decimal zero seven times five for the years and above the nine is the other. And then we do the enter. Okay. So let's do that and get the answer. All right. So we have the 7,000, and then we have the parenthesis above the eight is the open parenthesis, one plus decimal zero seven times the five, and above the nine is the close, and then we get enter. And we get the solution of the product, if you will, of $9,450. Right, nothing difficult. The calculator is all you need to get comfortable with. And uh, you will soon find out that that's really accommodating. So let's look at this next one and see what kind of challenge we have. So on this one, we have eight months, parts of a year, seven and a half percent at nine. So we're evaluating that our P is 9,000, our R is 7.5% that we're going to change to a decimal to do the math at decimal 075, moving the decimal two places to the left. And then our T is eight months, so we're going to represent that as 8 out of 12, because 12 months equal a year. So now we have everything, and we want our future value. So we, if we're wanting the future value, we know that that is A equals P parenthesis 
1 plus RT because it's simple interest. So we're going to have our A equals the 9,000 parenthesis 1 plus decimal 0, 075 times 8 over 12. For our calculator, we would enter on the home screen 9,000. We would have the open parenthesis 1 plus decimal 0, 075 times uh, 8 divided by 12 close parenthesis. So let's do that on our calculator. I'll draw it a little bit closer. So here we have the 9,000 parenthesis 1 plus point zero seven five times 8 divided by 12 close parentheses and enter. And we have A equals 9450. All right. Now, this is interesting in the sense that uh, on the previous problem, we had the same outcome. Uh, so the first problem was for five years. And our rate equals um, or seven percent, and the and the present value was uh, seven thousand. And on this one, on the second problem, was t equals eight months. The rate was seven and a half present value was nine thousand dollars so it it's interesting for five years at at seven uh we paid the same uh we had the same amount due at the end of the loan periods for both the five year and the eight months. And that again goes to the study of the of what you do financially. What you do financially. So here we go. <clears throat> so now we're going to apply some algebra. Very little algebra, but we're finding uh, what is missing. Um, so uh, we are given information and then we decide what formula to to use. Now we only have two formulas, and, and it's mostly on the, well, actually, it's all of them are on the end. So we only have uh, I equals PRT for interest owed only. And then we had A equals P parenthesis 1 plus RT, and that was our future value of the note. All right, and the second thing 
is to uh, drop in values known solve or variable. I'm going to do examples, so we're going to be okay. And in this one, we have an A. We have a future value. Given. So we have to use A equals P parenthesis 1 plus RT. And then we'll figure out what we have to solve for. So here we go. If I know A equals P parenthesis 1 plus RT, then I'm going to put my M, uh, future value of 6, 4, 2, 0 equals my principal, my, my broad amount, which is a present value of $6,000 parenthesis 1 plus I don't see a rate, but I have time as one and the rate. So uh, we're looking for rate. So the first thing I know is that 6,000 is a factor. That means it multiplied some, to something else because we know 6,000 is times the, uh, the sum of 1 plus r. So since we know that, we're going to divide both sides By that 600, th I mean the 6,000, I apologize for that. So now these cancel. So I'm going to have the 6420 divided by the 6,000 equals 1 plus r. Now I'm going to subtract 1. And the R will be in decimal value. Right. So now we're going to enter this in the calculator. When I erased, it brought everything down and my notes will be, you know, not, <laughs> not clear if you look at them. So we know that R will be in decimal value. So now we're going to do our calculator. So we're going to do the 6420 divided by, because it's a fraction, undone division. 6,000 minus 1. Now remember, your calculator can do order of operation, so we're good to go. And let's do that now. Six four two zero divided by 6,000 minus 1. Decimal 07 is R. So now we want it in percent form. 
So we're going to move it over to the right too. 7% is R. And add the symbol like we learned in section 8.1. All right, so let's do this next one. And this one is in three years. We have our A and our P. So again, we're going to use your value. Right, formula, I should say formula, shouldn't I? Because it is. So here we go. We know A equals P parenthesis 1 plus RT. And on this one, I have my uh, future value as 9,800 equal to our present value of 8,000 for the note. 1 plus, there isn't an R, but there's a 3 for time, 3 years. All right, so we're going to do the same thing. It's a little more uh, interesting on this one because we know it's 8,000 times that. So we're going to undo multiplication by division. Once we do that, these will cancel, and then I'll subtract 1. To do this step, because then we have to divide that outcome by 1. So we're going to do this step in the calculator. we've done before. So we're going to do that. So that's 9800 zero, zero, divided by 8000 zero, 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 minus 1. And we'll get that solution. Now we're going to divide by 3 because it's attached to the variable. So we're going to hit the divide by 3, and we're going to get 9,000. Oh, sorry about that. That's the wrong thing. I wanted it to. All right. Uh, we get this value. Well, this value reads 75 thousandths. So what we need to do is convert to percent. We're going to move the decimal to the right two places. And that means that R is seven and a half and add the symbol percent. Okay, now I've talked for 24 minutes. So uh, I'm going to stop uh, this guy. And I'll continue in just a minute.